in this video we are going to be doing the Z laser setup and calibration so to start with we're going to go to the Windows Explorer the yellow folder icon and we need to go to the system C hard drive then the park industries folder under Titan 3000 and then utilities and here we'll have the ZOP laser suite that we open up. In the ZOP suite, we are first going to set up a new or replacement laser projector. So as you can see on the bottom right, we have projector and license in red. So we need to set up those parameters. First of all, we're going to go into projector and set our communication parameters. So we want to uncheck that the laser is active. Click on the IP button and we're going to click on set IP range. Here we'll type in our IP addresses. We want to choose between 192.168.10.1 to 192.168.10.241. That'll be our active IP range to find that new laser. Go ahead and click OK and scan. You can see it found the ID to set the IP address. So now we want to check and make the laser active again. Got a green status light. Next, we're going to go and license that projector. That license key is found inside the projector. It's going to be a white USB stick. So you want to get that and plug it into the computer. When you do, it'll pop up you should see a LIC file. That is your laser license. So we're going to click on load available license. We're going to browse to the USB stick. So in this case, it'd be the E drive. And then click on our license file and open. And it's saying that we already have a license existing. We want to override it. Yes. Now, if you do this, it might take a little bit or the program may crash. Don't worry, that's okay. So let's close the program out. When you get to the screen, go ahead and close that out. And then we'll reopen the ZLP suite. Now that we reopen the laser suite, you'll see we have all three green buttons down at the bottom right. So our license did load. Now we need to create a coordinate system for the laser. Click on 3D setup button. It's going to project a square. Go ahead and click stop. Next, click on new coordinate system. And we're going to create by hand. We want to name it PI coordinates. And click create. And then next. So now what we do, we need to create the four targets for the four corners. So you click on add new target. And what you're going to do is you're going to add four of them. So for target number one, that's going to be the front left corner of the table. We want to enter in the coordinate for that. So in this instance, it's going to be 100, 100. This is in millimeters. Use this chart to locate all four targets. This is going to be for the Titan 3700 and 3800. The values are different because of the different table sizes. Let's go through and finish entering the coordinate numbers for each position. Target 2, target 3, target 4. At this time you can install the calibration targets on the table for the four corners. Click back on the target one. Next, with the targets installed in the table, make sure they're flat. We're going to search for the target. Typically, the laser projection, it's going to be a square with the crosshair, is not on the target. 
So we need to position that crosshair directly on the target. You can do it one of two ways. You can click inside the square and drag it, which that will get a close. And then once you have a close, using your keyboard arrow keys, you can finally tune it to get right on the target. Once the laser is lined up on the target, click on Start Target Search. The laser will quickly scan and find the target. Once it does, T1, or whatever target you're on, will turn green. Continue the same setting up for target 2, 3, and 4. Once you have all targets found, we will do a search for all targets. Click on the search all button up on the top left corner. It will search and scan each target. When the scanning is complete, you will get a pop up to acknowledge that it found all four targets. Watch your max and average distance. Optimally, we want them less than one millimeter. If it's more than one millimeter, double check that the targets are flat against the table, orientated towards the laser, and scan again. Once your results are acceptable, go ahead and click yes, and then okay to save your transformation. And then you go ahead and click on finish to exit out of this. Next, we need to save our, our new calibration. Click on serve, save service configuration, and make sure you enter the file name as shown, Z laser config. It needs to be lowercase Z, capital L, capital C for the laser to communicate with the front end. If you save it differently, it will not work in the Titan software. Close out of the Z laser software and open up the Titan software. One last step we'll need to do is project the calibration holes. Double check that your laser is going around the holes. If it's off in one way, we can adjust it using a laser core hole test, which we'll show you next. If they're on and you're happy with the results, you can go ahead and put the machine into service. To do the core hole test, you'll need to set up a program. And all we needed to do is to drill into the stone just a little ways. You're going to cut your job with the core hole. And after it's done, we're gonna project the geometry and measure how far it's off. Once your core hole is drilled, clean off your part and on the Titan, project the geometry. Using a micrometer or a tape measure, measure in X and Y what the distance is that the projection is off. We will now need to go into the front end and make an adjustment to it. Now go into setup and then overhead laser and you're going to want to adjust your X and Y offset for the OH laser to the table. Put in your adjustments and then go back to the run screen and project the geometry again. Verify that the geometry is now around your core hole. If it's not, come back into here and make any final adjustments necessary. Once everything is lined up, you are good to put your machine back in production.